Hello and thank you for your interest in Thunder, the Drupal 8 distribution for professional publishers. In this screencast I will show you how to create an article. Here you have an overview of your existing content. We want to add new content, so we click here. Here we can decide what kind of content we would like to create. A basic page for static content like the About Us page or an article. We will go for an article. Now we can start editing our article. First of all, we need to decide in which section the article should be displayed. Sections reflect the site structure. As an editor, I choose the section in which my article should be published. I go for News. Then I need to add the title of my story. This is used as main heading for the article. So thunder. The SAO title should contain the most important keywords. I could use the title, but instead I use a different one which is optimized for search engines. So SAO. The SAO title is also used to generate the URL of my article. Now we add some text such as CMS and publisher separated by a comma. And now we are done with the basic information for our article. Now we will have a look at the teaser, which will be shown at the main page and the landing pages, in our case the news page. We choose a teaser image by clicking on Select Image. The media browser opens and you can see all the already existing pictures. I choose this thunderstorm picture and confirm it by clicking on Select Image. Then I add a short teaser text. Keep in mind that this text is not only used on overview pages, but also for Facebook and Google snippets. Now we can start creating the main part of the article. For this I use paragraphs. This may not seem like much, but paragraphs is a powerful tool, as I will show you. For the beginning I want to add some text. I click on this button here and the form opens. I insert my text and can now format it with the Witherwick editor. I would like the beginning to be bold and I would like to add some bullet points. The first and third one. Now I add a new paragraph for the rest of my text. Add the paragraph and insert more text. Now I would like to add a picture to my article. I click on the little arrow next to add text. As you can see we have different kinds of paragraphs. Quotes, links, Instagram and Twitter cards, galleries, image and video. I will choose image. I get a new paragraph and click on Select Image. The media browser opens, just as it did when I chose the teaser image. I could select and upload pictures like before, but now I would like to upload a new image, so I click on Import Image. I can select files from a file browser, but I prefer to just drag and drop my image to this field. As you can see, I can now add some information to the image file, such as title, an alt text for better accessibility, a title, copyright, source and description. I can also add an expire date if I am only allowed to use the picture for a limited time. After the expire date, the image will be replaced with a placeholder. When all needed information is added, click Select Entities. and the picture is added to your article. And now we can see a useful feature of paragraphs. By using the handle, you can reorder them easily and move the added image between the two text paragraphs. Now my article is finished and I can get a preview of it by clicking Preview. At the top of the site, I can select Teaser instead of Full and get preview 
of the teaser. I like what I see and click on Back to Content Editing. Back again, I can complete my work with saving the article. I could choose to save it, just to be sure, and continue working on it, or to save it as unpublished. As I am happy with my article, and in this case I am the chief editor, I decide to save and publish the article. And there it is, my published article. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching and have a nice time working with Thunder. See you soon. Join the Thunder Coalition now. Spread the word, contribute, and benefit.